All right, let's go over to crude oil real quick. So what we want to do, let me do a real quick recap yesterday. We'll go into today's trading. So what we want to do is we want to see where the supply lines and demand lines, first of all, are automatically generated from accumulation distribution. All right, the accumulation distribution areas where there's a pause in the market after a big vertical move. So we know that after a big vertical move, there's a pause in the market or they get rejected. This is a level to trade off of in the future. So what we want to do is we want to look for levels that's been rejected where the big players in the market, the high frequency algorithms, the hedge funds, prop firms, where have they left their footprint? Where have they left their footprint? So yesterday you could see this a supply line rejected price here. And let me go ahead and get a big marker so you can see what I'm talking about. So we want to see rejected levels where price has actually come off of. Because that tells us as traders, that educates us as traders, that this level, it never closes a whole body candle close above it. The wicks can break, I don't care. They blow this up so you see what I'm talking about. I don't care if the wicks of the candle, meaning the highs and lows of the candle, break above the supply demand line. I just, if I'm trying to sell this market, I don't want to see the body of the candle close above the supply line. It does not there. The body of the candle straddles this one right here. Does not close above. Gets rejected. So this is a huge level for me to trade off of because this is a supply line. And what you have to know about supply demand, old supply becomes new demand. So what I can do in the future then is I can trade off of new old supply because my next pivot level to trade off on a break retest. So now I know once it breaks retest, old supply becomes a new demand launching point. So it got rejected here again, rejected, which is good. The more times it gets rejected, the better pivot level or the more accurate pivot level you're going to have off to trade off the level. So then what I want to see happen, I want to see a breakthrough. I want to see it rotate back down for an ABC long. So I want to see it cut through that level. And this is how you're going to trade all markets, all futures, all stocks, all currencies, ETFs, OEX options, doesn't matter. This works on all markets. You break through, Forex, same thing. You rotate back down. You got to come within a couple ticks of it, though. This one actually stopped to the exact tick. I don't care if it breaks back down through it by a couple ticks. As long as the body of the candle closes, I want to close a green bar reversal because I have a trend filter built in or a positive market delta. That is your go to get in. Hard stop should be no more than 15 ticks going in on crude oil. Actually, 13 ticks will suffice. And then you can always adjust your stop two ticks below the swing low. So that's your entry. Because old supply becomes new demand. Old supply becomes new demand. Old demand becomes new supply. So if I see it rejected, 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 that's your launching point. Break, retest, there you go. Positive market delta, we're off to the races. Okay? So if I'm looking forward for my, if, it, if the market would have broke down, I know these two are big, two pivot levels to trade off of. <clears throat> Especially this one. This is a huge level to trade off of for an ABC right over here. So yesterday, you know the other side of the market too. Why? Because look at, my demand line that was projected got rejected off of once, twice, three times. Traders traded off this level three times. So I know going forward it's a huge level at 36.15 to trade off of going into next week's trading. I know that because price got rejected off that level. And these are electronically traded markets. So if you're a hedge fund, a prop firm, a high frequency trader, all these algorithms, if you're, uh, if you're Goldman Sachs, the Delta, their Delta algorithm, obviously there was buying interest at these levels. So if I break through those levels, it's going to take the stops out of these pivot levels. 
You retest it by within a couple ticks. Can't close back above it by a body of the candle. You got yourself one hell of a trading level right there going into next week. So you want to see where the supply and the demand levels get rejected off of. Because if they get rejected off that level, you got yourself great launching points. Now today what we got is we had a breakthrough because we're new territory retest body the candle did not close below and now she's running 3783 or I've what 39 almost 60 also my symmetry dots see my symmetry dots these blue dots and these red dots use that for confluence if I see a symmetry dots just above or below my supply demand lines they create confluence. Okay? Now the two best charts to trade off of are these two charts right here. My 9 and 5 sim. In fact, what I'm going to be showing going forward in the room is my 9 and my 5 right here. Because the 3 sim will print pretty much the exact supply demand line my 5 will. So we don't need to see it twice. What we need to start recognizing as traders is we got to start recognizing where levels get rejected the last couple days and where the fresh lines get rejected intraday because those are the levels that I want to participate in because that's not my opinion that's not your opinion that's nobody's opinion that's actually order flow coming in and out of the market